Hello and welcome to this tutorial brought to you by VDRM.co.cc and today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your own navigation bars so which is are here so today we're going to see how to make this navigation bars now let's go ahead and begin now we're going to begin by going in the open fireworks because we're going to use fireworks and if you don't have fireworks, you can go ahead and download it in adobe.com adobe.com downloads, try downloads now let's go ahead and down here, let's go ahead and look for fireworks fireworks cs4, there you go click on go Now you need to go ahead and enter your email address. You have to sign now before. If you want to download something from Adobe, you need to create an account. Now let's go ahead and have an account. But I won't download it just to show you how it looks like. And again, look at Hold on. Yeah, now let's go ahead and look at it. Now uh, it looks like this. FW, which is this one. I have it. Now when you download it, it's gonna look like this. So when you have it, the this is the logo, the shortcut. It's gonna be like this. Now this is the fireworks when you open. It. Now let's begin. Let's go ahead and create. Cl click on create new by quickly here firebox document png and the size depends how wide is your website so my the weight of my website is 770 and uh, height it, it doesn't matter with the height it does not matter you can put it from 300 like let's say I'm gonna put 300 three it does not matter you know what I'm saying and let's go ahead now click edit Insult, insult, new button. Now let's just go ahead and play with this a lot. I don't need this. So now, as you can see, it looks like this. Now let's go and click page one. When you finish making a button, it can look like this. See, it says button P, G P you know PNG as in short thing. Now let's go ahead and double click on this and click on like tangle to make your navigation. Click on select the selector here. Click on uh pointer to the back one and make make it like put it in the middle. Now let's go ahead and make this make it look good. You need to go ahead and have style. When you have style, it's called if you don't have it, window style. It will be unchecked if you don't have it. If, if it's checked, that means you have it down here. But yours will look pretty different. Yours will be like this, fully inside. But yeah, that's how it looks. Like. Now let's go ahead and let's pull some styles. Let's go down Chrome. Let's change it. Let's, let's see first. Rectangle. Now let's go ahead and change it. Let's say we want this one. I'm going to use this one. Yeah, let's say that. And you need to have documents library to be able to be able to see your icon. If you if you made a mistake, and then you can double click on it and you can edit it. Now let's go ahead and add text by clicking on text by big T. Text it to click in the middle of the air, then I'll say download because it's the longest word in my in my thingy of the in my navigations. So this is the biggest, which means if I put another big thingy, it's gonna fit in it's gonna fit in the button. Now let's go ahead and change the color as uh, like changing it like when it's like this, when I, I point on it, it changes to another color like this. 
I show you to it it changes like this when I point on it as you can see it changes so let's go ahead and Firefox now click on the white don't click in the button click outside then come down here on a properties if you don't have it window properties now stand stand it's up now it's up now let's go ahead and click on stand over now it will disappear let's go ahead and click copy up uh, graphic click on that then it will appear up but the color is not changed click on the button not on the text in the button if you don't see it don't click on downloads click on rectangle like like here now let's go ahead on linear like here don't click here now we need to make it color we need to make it look good we don't need to just choose one color now let's go ahead and click here click on the last one and choose whatever color you want you can choose this one or you can go ahead and choose whatever you want and you can set it up as you see like this I can go ahead and make these things they change things up and as you can see here it looks good but I don't want that I don't need that I just need it to be like this ok now let's go ahead and exit out now let's say we wanna make more buttons we just, we just don't need one what you need to do just go ahead and click on page one and as you can see it looks different than this one the button this we are here we cannot edit it we can only click on it and change the name of it now down here or move it and make more like moving it we can move it and click here drag and drop it in here and make more but let's say we made a mistake double click on that and we can change it and page one it will bring us in this page now let's go ahead and take more I'll just say I want to make how many yeah, 6 or 7 now let's go ahead and put them in order that's 3 4 5 and 6 yeah I'm gonna make 6 now let's go ahead and change but we cannot as you, let's change the name of it we cannot leave it like this download 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 nothing we can let's go ahead and change this to home click on it come down here text then change the text to the home to home then we change change this one to tutorials then we change click on this one to download just leave it download and that one mm, I have been a wrong spelling I don't care this I don't wanna end this one let's go on YouTube you can change it whenever you want and that one movies and the last one but not least let's say it's links and wrong spelling what is the other one <laughs> okay yeah I have done yeah as you can see it looks good now let's go ahead and preview it in Firefox or whenever preview on Firefox and here is our navigation bars see as we can see it changes the color now let's say we don't like the color when changes let's go ahead just exit now let's go ahead and Firefox and double click on here and it will bring one it won't bring all of them now let's go ahead and click on over change the color by clicking on the button go ahead and change the color to whatever see I like this one yeah I like that one but I don't like it because ok I like this one now let's go ahead on page it's gonna change let's go ahead and preview it and see it changes and that's how you make your own navigation bar let's say you wanna get you, you don't want the black uh, white thing because when you put your website you don't need this now click on the uh, the white don't click on the button don't click on any button then come come uh, down here properties then click on feed canvas 
just click on that then here we go now you can go ahead and save it and install in Dreamweaver make call to your own website now let's go ahead how you save it let's go ahead export don't save us export and as you can see I already uh, export some stuff save it wherever you want to save it back to your website save it and that's all for today thanks for watching I'm not going to save this I'm just going to exit and that's how you do it as you can see me I already did mine as you can see you know, I click on YouTube and it brings me on YouTube and I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and please comment and rent and subscribe and I'll see you for ne next video and see ya